It could be just a matter of time before the hybrids begin to take over. From griller bears to wolfins, here are the most insane hybrid animals. Hey guys, this is your host, American Eye. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy that video. Number 13, the Jag Lion. What sounds more vicious than a Jaguar Lion Hybrid? These two endangered animals were crossbred to create this amazingly beautiful creature. At the Bear Creek Sanctuary in Canada, this hybrid was created with a father jaguar and a mother lion. The researchers were quite surprised that it could actually happen like this naturally. Bear Creek claims that they do not breed animals there, but sometimes they can't always control nature. Number 12, the Griller Bear. If you didn't think bears were bad enough, try having to deal with a massive polar bear grizzly bear hybrid. This hybrid gets a beautiful gold-like color from a mix of brown and white fur from its parents. Due to rising temperatures, polar bears have sought refuge further south, therefore becoming exposed to grizzly bears. This does happen occasionally in the wild, but it might be a little bit rare to find. Although these two breeds of bear don't normally tend to get along well, their diminishing numbers don't always give them too many options on who they can reproduce with. Number 11, the Wolfen. This extremely rare hybrid between a false killer whale and a dolphin can actually exist in the wild. Most of these hybrids actually exist in sea parks and the first recorded Wolfen was born in the Tokyo Sea World, but died only a few hundred days later. Another accidental breed took place in the Sea Life Park in Hawaii. They exhibit extreme intelligence and can be trained like normal dolphins to do tricks. They can also weigh up to about 800 pounds and are measured to be up to 12 feet long. Bottlenosed dolphins have 44 feet and false killer whales have 88. The wolfin is exactly the middle with a shocking 66, showing you how equally it inherits its parents' genetics. Number 10, the Leopon. This hybrid occurs from crossing a male leopard and a lioness. This would be extremely unlikely to happen in the wild and artificially was created. The first documentation of this majestic creature comes from India in 1910 when two cubs were born. Unfortunately, they didn't make it after two and a half months. The most successful Leopon creatures were actually created in Japan. Two hybrids were born and proved to be sterile like most hybrids. They seem to commonly have the face of a lion complete with a mane and the coat of a leopard like you see in this photo. Leopon cubs were born in 1959 after only 97 days of gestation. This is a normal gestation period for hybrids of this size. An interesting fact about these hybrids is that unlike most lions, these leopons are good climbers. It must be their leopard genetics which give them this quality. Most lions seem afraid of water like house cats, but leopons enjoy playing around in it. Number 9. The Koi Wolf The Koi Wolf is a mix between a coyote and a wolf. You can tell in this photo that it shares both strong characteristics of its parents. Only cases in the northeastern United States confirms the existence of this mix. Coyotes have expanded their habitat, which begins to make this possible. They could become the new top predator in the southwest. It turns out much larger than your average coyote with extremely powerful jaws. Wolf hybrids can also be created with dogs. The owners will sometimes label them as huskies in order to be able to keep them legally. In some places, they're actually illegal. Only time will tell if these hybrids continue to become more evolved. Number 8. Dingoes and Domesticated Dogs In the outbacks of Australia, dingoes seem to be hybridizing with domesticated dogs, which is a result of humans settling on this continent. Dingoes were there millennia ago, and with the arrival of European settlers in the 18th century, the two began to mate. They can often just be called wild dogs by the local Australians, and an estimated 2,000 of these can be found on this continent. These wild dogs can sometimes weigh as much as 120 pounds, so approaching one has to be done with caution. Some believe that purposely mating domesticated dogs with dingoes is a threat to the existence of the purebred dingoes in the wilderness. This may have future consequences on the ecosystem of the outback. Number 7. The Amet This next hybrid is coming out of Egyptian mythology. Amet translates to soul eater or devourer and lived in the underworld waiting for lost souls to feast on. It had the features of a lion, a hippopotamus, and a crocodile, some of the most ravenous beasts Egyptians had contact with. Once people's hearts weighed more than the feather of truth, this beast got the opportunity to eat them. The heart was a symbol of Egyptian soul and was the only organ Egyptians left inside during the process of mummification. This wasn't worshipped as a god to the Egyptians, but more like a feared demonic being. It's also featured sitting next to the scales, waiting for its next meal. 
With the hind quarters of a hippo, the body of a wild cat, and a head of a crocodile, this thing certainly seems like something you don't want to mess with. Number 6. Mahdi The only proven hybrid to exist between African and Asian elephants is a hybrid known as Mahdi. It was born in 1978. It was known to have features of both elephants, including the cheeks, the ears, the trunk, and the body type of an African elephant. Details of the Asian elephant were also seen in the trunk and the center hump. African traits proved to be more dominant. Unfortunately, scientists didn't have a ton of time to investigate this rare specimen, but it's believed that over 50,000 years ago, hybrids between these elephants were more common. These were known as straight tusk elephants, and DNA was tested to confirm this theory. No other elephant hybrids are known to exist or to occur, which makes this case even more mysterious. Number 5. Iron Age Pig In an attempt to recreate wild boar to nearly the same genetic makeup as it had in the Iron Age, British breeders and researchers got together and decided which domestic pigs to mix with wild boars. They concluded with a rare Irish pig called a Tamworth and your common European wild boar. These are seemingly only bred in Europe, and the farmers who raise the hybrids cater to a very specific customer who wants more of a gamey taste to it. The appearance and the aggressiveness of the wild boar appear to be dominant, which has made these difficult to domesticate. After three generations of breeding, you probably wouldn't even realize the pig had any domestication in its lineage. Wild boar populating with sow has actually happened naturally in Australia. Number 4. Sheep-Goat Hybrid Following the trend of wild animals reproducing with their domestic counterpart, this hybrid is known as a geep and can occur in nature. Most of the time it results in a stillbirth, but there are rare cases where it's known to exist. These hybrids are quite difficult to come by, but it indicates the goat's true origins. In the year 2000, a live goat mated with a female sheep in an experiment. It had a total of 57 chromosomes, which is the number right between the two types of sheep. The result was a male geep who had intense desire for the female ewe, despite being completely infertile and in 2014, healthy geep were reproduced. Just recently, in 2018, two twin geep were created in Ireland, which shows us that geep could be a thing of the future, and they're also pretty cute. Number 3. Human Z Experiments to create a half-human, half-chimpanzee date back to the 1920s by Russian scientists. One of them went by the name of Ila Ivanov. This weirdo tried some bizarre experiments that we won't get into, but we'll just say they didn't work. The man was eventually arrested, but his idea for creating a human Z has intrigued many. Also known as a mana Z or a Chuman, legends exist around the world about mysterious apes. One human-like chimpanzee known as Oliver is rumored to be a hybrid, but certainly nothing was proven. His ability to walk on two feet made rumors fly around pretty quickly that he was created in a laboratory. He also seemed to have a libido that was driven towards human females. Also having one less chromosome than other chimps, some have claimed him as the missing link. In any case, chimps are very similar to humans genetically, but if we splice the genes any further, what would the result be? Would we just go back to the way we were in the past? Which genes would remain dominant, and what advanced behavior would we see that we weren't accustomed to from earlier chimps? Will they finally learn to use cell phones too? Hopefully the experiments don't go too far, or we might end up in a real-life Planet of the Apes scenario where they become the rulers. Number 2. A Liger a liger, or a mix between a lion and a tiger, can grow to be massive sizes. These are not only the largest hybrid known to man, but also the largest cat. They end up bigger than their parents, weighing 750 pounds on average. This liger here, named Hercules, was recognized by Guinness World Records as the largest non-obese living cat on Earth. He weighs in at a total of 922 pounds. He is healthy and appears to be living a long, good life. They can also measure to be about 9.8 feet long, or up to 11 feet. Number 1. Hybrid Land Marine Iguanas On the Galapagos Islands, you'll come across an interesting species of iguana known as the marine iguana, which can swim at high speeds through the Pacific Ocean. We're sure you're also familiar with normal iguanas, which are commonly found in tropical areas of the Galapagos Islands. Some of those iguanas evolved to be able to eat algae in the water, and they also became a very different subspecies on the Galapagos. Now, an interesting development in genetics here seems to show that land iguanas can still mate with marine iguanas. This photo here we see is a true hybrid. With a short food supply in the ocean, they tend to resort to their land-dwelling instincts, which exposes them to new potential mates. Vicey marine iguanas have been known to reproduce with lonely female iguanas near the shore, which results in a hybrid, which is typically sterile. Hybrids are notable for their sharp claws and survival abilities in both land and sea. They eat cactus fruit and seaweed, and some have called it a mutant. 